Hey guys, Nick here and in today's episode I want to show you how you can integrate uh, your uh, Vienna Ensemble Pro with Vienna Mir Pro, which is Vienna Symphonic Library's awesome convolution uh, software solution. <laughs> it even rhymes. <laughs> so it's a really great solution for uh, putting your orchestral samples, your orchestral libraries into a uniformed uh, convolution space to simulate the live sound of your uh, of live orchestral halls and what's even greater here is that you can not only use it as a standalone but you can also use it as i said integrated here i have a tab this is my vienna ensemble pro 7 and now it comes uh, with an option if you have purchased Vienna Mir Pro, you can host Vienna Mir Pro inside VE Pro 7 here just by adding a Vienna Mir Pro uh, here uh, as an effects uh, insert plugin on your uh, channels here. Now the thing is that uh, most of us composers are using multiple sample libraries uh, from various developers and we are always struggling with, uh, you know, using multiple reverbs and whatnots in order to kind of like force them to work together to blend with one another as uh, with one another as if they are coming from a single space. Now, uh, most of us have done that with uh, reverbs, you know, convolution reverbs, stuff like that. But this is a really great solution where you can also position your instruments inside of an orchestral hall. So what I'm doing here right now is that I have I'm using my Vienna Synchron Stage uh, wide setting. So basically, uh, my uh, orchestra is set up like this inside sideways in a in an orchestral hall I have my uh, conductors uh, microphone here if I can just maybe just so you can see it here so uh, my main microphone is uh, this one here uh, basically I have positioned it uh, uh, to stay to be used as a behind the conductor uh, it's like a deca tree the type of thing and I have my secondary microphones here which are my stereo 115 degrees cardioid set up on the side wall so they can uh, capture reflections of the instruments off the wall so the way you are using this basically is if I go into my VE Pro uh, mixer is that I have my orchestral instruments here set up which are some of them are Vienna Symphonic Libraries from their Synchron player like my woodwinds woodwinds here are from my woodwind smart orchestra uh, set up here as you can see and uh, I have my woodwinds here that are like Symphobia. So I want to blend the two of them together uh, so they can sound as if they are coming from uh, the same space. And I want to have a thick sound and, you know, like mold them together. And this is uh, the same for all the instrument sections here. I have my horns. For example, which is my uh, Jupiter uh, for, uh, horn uh, collection from the Big Bang Orchestra. And I have my orchestral tools horn ensembles. So my trombones here are from my Hercules, uh, which is an amazing collection of, of brass instruments uh, from Vienna's Big Bang uh, Orchestra. You have the Hercules, you have Izard, Jupiter and Copernicus. So what I'm using here are my Hercules uh, sort of like a low brass uh, uh, setup with uh, trombones and, and tubas and I have my bones here from my orchestral tools bones. My strings are from uh, my uh, epic orchestra which comes for free bundled with the Vienna Ensemble Pro so I'm using a patch of my short strings uh, synchron strings light which come together in uh, the epic orchestra 2.0 uh, so I have this and I am layering them with a full orchestral spiccato ensemble from uh, the orchestral tools. My percussion here are from Native Instruments Action Strikes. 
uh, I have my timpani here which are from my Epic Orchestra 2.0 uh, timpani which comes from the uh, Vienna Ensemble Pro uh, from yeah comes bundled with Vienna Ensemble Pro my gong is also from an Epic Orchestra uh, synchron percussion tam tams uh, I have my triangle here which is from my epic orchestra as well it comes in a form of, of percussion so you can have uh, various uh, here uh, various uh, or percussive instruments here but I'm using only triangles and I have my Vienna uh, Big Bang Orchestra Ganymede which is their choir uh, library. I have them here set up as a swell uh, short and all of them here are set up as you can see inside my Vienna Mir Pro. So I have, of course, if you were using your uh, orchestral section in like your standard sections like you have your celli you would have set them up here but I was using the whole ensemble so I was able to kind of like just as you can see stretch this in order to have them like a really big and wide uh, orchestral uh, string section. The same thing goes for my woodwinds. And now I have my horns set up here, which is kind of like your regular uh, horn set up inside of an orchestral hall. And my trombones with the rest of the brass are here. My action strike percussions are dominating here. I have my triangle set up here, my timpanis behind the uh, percussion my gong is here and my choir is in the back of the hall here behind all the orchestral sections so you can always you know select any type of venue that you want but I'm really really loving the synchron stage sound so uh, I wanted to have all of my uh, so for example just one tip if you're using orchestral tool samples you can uh, blend your other libraries with it with the Mir Pro Pack uh, Studio Pack and you have a Teldex Studio here hall as you can see where the orchestral tool samples were were done so it's it's a pretty cool thing to know as well so I have it all set up like this I can have uh, there are a whole bunch of presets here if you select your instrument here so the the interface is divided here uh, for your instrument microphones which is active whenever you click so for example on my trombones I have my uh, here dry signal and I have uh, general purpose and all the uh, orchestral sections you know uh, presets that I want to use and I can select this same thing goes for horns my gongs I have here as well you can just select your you know uh, from your preset here and that's it and you can create a sort of like a natural volume sound and you can select the character of your sound which is kind of like the name uh, speaks for itself like air gives it more of that top end nicely in, in the higher frequency register silver I cannot explain properly so you'll have to try it out bite is that really in your upper mids and higher frequency really gives it that nice crunchy sound the warm is like if you want a, a more warmer sound of like mellow uh, and concertino strings for example distant really brings it in, into reverb uh, as well so uh, this is for all of my instruments I have set up here so my triangle preset my timpani preset my gongs preset the percussion uh, if you uh, don't uh, have a sort of like a, a, a percussion uh, a group big action like taiko stuff and and everything here that you're using so you can just always go for this uh, uh, general purpose cardioid which works really well for all of your so this is how I set up my strings my woodwinds there is a, a section of woodwinds here and there is also I think there is a section of strings and then you have like uh, the, the inside these VE VI Pro Vienna Instrument Pro sections but you can't see it here from my but you have like section solo strings solo strings Sardino uh, chamber strings chamber strings Sardino there it is orchestral strings you can use it but I kind of like I really dig the 
the cardioid here on my uh, on my setup and another great thing that you can have so uh, you're just basically adding your as an integrated here plug-in you get you see Vienna mirror pro just select which one you want uh, I'm hosting all of my instruments here and on my uh, main on my bus here I have a Vienna Miracle which is the algorithmic reverb add-on to a convolution uh, setups of Vienna Mir so it kind of like helps you enhance the sound it gives it that nice top end tail on your convolution so if you go to enhance presets here what I'm using is the synchron stage Vienna enhance uh, that I am here through my sends, I am sending all of my signals here uh, into this reverb. And if I go into my DAW, you can see I have in my instrument setup here, my Vienna Ensemble Pro, I have separate outputs for my mirror reverb from the Miracle. And I have my horns, my trombones, my strings, my percussion, my timpani, tam-tams, woods, and choirs. And this is all because uh, I have separate controls of my strings, uh, for example, and of my horns, which I am blending. So as I said, my Jupiter horns together with orchestral tool horns, but uh, I have separate control of, of the levels for each one of them and the send control inside the, the Mir Pro, as you can see here in my horns, but I am sending them, uh, both of them together, summed through the same output three and four inside my DAW, which is the horns. So I'm gonna play you a piece and then you can see how all of this sounds together. there it is so uh, it's it's sound the sound is homogenous in a way that it's all being nicely glued together and blended together with the with the reverb uh, with the convolution from the mirror pro and it's a very very good solution to have inside VE Pro 7 basically and host everything as your I saved all of this together as my mirror orchestra so I can always recall my setup uh, my orchestral setup hosted with the mirror pro so I can have everything sounding really really cool so I uh, together and I can just concentrate on composing inside my DAW and I'm just exporting if I click on my stems here to export I can just export my channels here and everything will be sounding pretty cool so I can always when I go into my mix as you can see there is nothing in my DAW so everything is straight from uh, VE Pro 7 I only have a little bit of an equalizer and a compressor on my timpani and a compressor on my percussion to kind of like you know uh, control them just a tiny little bit and these compressors and uh, EQs are bundled together, integrated into uh, a Vienna Ensemble Pro. So let's see what would happen if I am not using these, if I just bypass all of my mirror sounds here. Oops, sorry. I just have to bypass it. Why is it bringing me? Uh, yeah, when you click on uh, on the red one if you click on the name of the plugin it kind of like sends you so if I press play again see how dry it sounds it's in your face
You see, so it, it sounds really, really dry and in your face, which is not your typical orchestra. You know, it, 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 we're not used to hearing big cinematic orchestras so dry. And the thing is that uh, these uh, Vienna Synchron, the Vienna Synchron player now and all of the instruments that are resampled for the Synchron player, now you have these multiple microphone setups where you can just blend and give them like your main microphones and your surround microphones that are basically also giving you a sample of the room sound in which these uh, samples are recorded. But if you want to blend them together, for example, with my orchestral tools, here I only have my close mic here on my horns so uh, if I want to blend them together it's fairly easy to you know select only the close microphones turn on your mirror pro let's uh, let's base actually let's uh, test this on the strings only so I'm gonna go into my DAW I'm gonna uh, solo my strings and I'm gonna go back into my let's hear this You can, for example, here, let's see how we can tweak this just a tiny little bit more. For example, these, uh, my strings here. I want to have my close mics. I want to have all of my shorts in here. And maybe if I use my cardioid signal, okay, my dry wet and everything is set up. So if I see, it sounds a little bit a fairly tiny little bit more distant but uh, I need my <laughs> this is now sending all of the all the reverbs which is pretty cool that you have the reverb sound but for example what would happen See how close they sound? Let's say my horns here. See how they don't sound, they sound unnatural when they're close. They're coming from this really big space now and this miracle uh, reverb that I'm hosting here uh, is really really giving them this I can maybe just go just tad a little bit uh, and if I turn on all of my I'm sorry return all of my instruments it sounds really really big inside of your orchestral hall if I maybe change this into Teldex it immediately changes the sound or maybe if I put it in a church <laughs> it actually sounds pretty massive inside this inside of this church But it's the synchron stage that I like the most. You can always check your. Uh, if let me just. You can always your reverberation time. You can always tweak it here and the dry wet offset. See how it sounds now. Opposed to going very close again. So I highly, highly recommend that you guys go and check out Vienna Mirror Pro. If you have a Vienna Ensemble Pro 7, you can use it integrated uh, as an integrated uh, plugin uh, collection here. Just click on effects and you add your Vienna Mirror Pro and everything uh, will work together inside VE Pro with all of your 
instrument. So the demo is available for download. It will uh, be active for 30 days. So you can download the Mirror Pro application. Uh, you can use it as a standalone application uh, to connect with your DAW. And I will explain that in the next video, how to use this. But if you want to host it inside VE Pro 7, you can use it this way. You can download demo uh, licenses, 30 day demo licenses of various uh, sound packs here uh, that you can use like convolutions from Synchron Stage, the Wheeler Studio, uh, the Orf uh, Cathedral, uh, actually a concert hall, you know, Funk House Studio. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, like Teldex and everything. So these are some pretty, pretty cool uh, studios and scoring stages and cathedrals from Europe, which will give you that really, really big, massive sound uh, if you uh, just put your instruments uh, and host them inside uh, Mirror Pro. Uh, it will really, really blow your mind. I highly recommend you go and check it out. And, you know, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.